what's going on everyone? This is Ezekiel Kadash here. So, um, I wanted to just do a little video where I was going through the different pirate themes and also including the one from Prime 4 and just kind of comparing them all and like that is the space pirate, the main space pirate themes of uh, like, you know, through the Prime games. Uh, and yes, for the heck of it, I also threw in um, the theme that shows up in First Hunt, uh, briefly, and then, uh, and then the one for Federation Force as well, and kind of just the point where I'm going with this is, um, just a little, like, you know, um, thought I've been thinking about, uh, the Prime Fourth, uh, pirate theme in particular, and how I'm like there are a lot of things about it that I like and you know might even might even be my new favorite one um but yeah so before we get to that let me just go over so first we got the original prime uh space pirate theme So it starts off really like eerily and creepy and you're like gives the feeling like oh boy here we go We're getting ourselves into a firefight or something it's also very organic sounding like the little the beat also kind of like has a bit of distortion in the uh, in the main melody, um, um, and then coming up, it has this sort of whale sound. Yeah, right here. It's like an electric guitar or something that's made to sound like a whale. Now, something I really like about this version of the theme is that it has, and it's especially grown on, grown on me over the years, because um, initially I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about this, but something I really like about it is how eerie and kind of creepy it, it like it gives like it gives the space pirates that that feeling, um, and especially since like when you like deal with them in like Fendrana drifts or something like it gets dark uh like physically dark and like so you're dealing with a lot of shadow pirates or just regular pirates um because they they go into lockdown basically and so it's more or less pitch black um for a good for a good bit I mean it's not really pitch black you can see like right in front of you but visibility is very low um and then, um, something that, something, however, that, you know, makes it not my favorite, though, is how, like, you have the, like, it has this organic feel to it, which, while that is neat, a neat detail, like, the little beat has the, the that, like, organic sound, um, you know, it makes you feel like you're fighting an actual creature or something like that, which is what Kenji Yamamoto uh, was shooting for. At the same time, that paired with the um, that sort of whaleish sort of sound, um, those two things combined, it, it kind of I feel like it takes from the overall feeling that the space pirates are like actually an intelligent. Um, force to be reckoned with. Now, they're not always the most organized, but, you know, just judging from their, 
you know, logs and such, like, these are thinking, like, rational creatures, um, you know, that have feelings and emotions and, you know, are scientists and inventors and all that, and, and, and warriors and all that. This music, though, uh, this version, which is, like, the original, you know, it gives, it gives them a sort of more animalistic kind of feel to it, I, uh, feel to them, I feel, um, <clears throat> that they're not really all that smart, uh, at all, um, and in some cases, you know, they're not the brightest bulbs, but, but still, you know, um, and then they're, like, how they are, um, like, how they're designed, you know, in, in the first Prime, um, which is why the first Prime Pirates are my least favorite design, actually, um, it's like they don't, they don't stand tall, they, they're just, like, all, like, hunched over or something, and, like, you know, they just kind of look more like they were these critters that, uh, like, these humanoid critters that, Got, that got equipped with some weapons and were just told, you know, go have at it. You know, go duke it out with Samus or something. Um, which, again, just kind of steals from the fact that these are actually intelligent beings and stuff. Now, uh, and then another aspect was, you know, is the fact that, you know, these pirates also like to hang upside down on the on the ceiling or something like their bats or something which is a neat which is a neat detail um th it does make them feel like world like otherworldly and and stuff like but at the same time it also adds that animalistic feeling to them like they're not actually reasoning beings they're just animals basically um so you know, it is a cool theme and, and all, but, like, it, it, it gives that, uh, it does reflect, like, it does reflect the, how the pirates are portrayed in the first Prime, which is, they are kind of more animalistic, I feel like, um, um, <clears throat> uh, arguably not as animalistic as, uh, or arguably the Corruption Pirates are more animalistic than even the Prime 1 Pirates. Um, but yeah, again, kind of the overall feeling I get is, okay, these are, you know, these are dangerous, animalistic combatants that you're going up against. You're not necessarily going up against, like, intelligent beings or anything like that. That's kind of what I get from it. Um, now the, just for, you know, just for the heck of it, we'll also throw in first time. <laughs> Got a bit of dubstep. Now uh, they're the proto-hunters. Beta-hunters, you know. I mean, you know, what am I supposed to take away from that? Um, other than just a cool, you know, kind of dubstepy, electronic, uh, you know, rendition of the pirate theme, which also, uh, with also a bit of choir and stuff, um, which it, it seems it, it seems almost like they were they were initially thinking that all the pi uh, all all or most of the hunters were gonna be like piratey folks, you know, um, like sort of the beta version of, uh, sort of the beta version of Noxus, for instance, he looks a lot, a, a, a lot more like a space pirate, um, which is why I used that shot of him, sorry, dog is howling, does that from time to time, um, but, uh, you know, which is why I use that shot of, of that beta Noxus, uh, for, like, my Vozon theory question. Um, yeah, I, 
it, it that 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 version of the theme is definitely more fitting for like a trailer, which is what that was. It was a trailer for like the actual game because you know first hunt was just a demo um actually taking it out with the space virus with that theme um doesn't quite feel right i mean it'd be interesting but like you know i would you know i, I would i would much sooner take you know the other versions of the space fire theme um i mean it's cool it's a cool like trailer you know, teaser, uh, theme, which is what it's, it was meant for, but, um, yeah, it's also the only variant, uh, uh, kind of only music in Metroid that uses, like, dubstep, I think, I mean, then again, what do I know, I'm not really an expert in electronic music, all I know is that that sounded like it incorporated some dubstep, anyway, let's go over to the Prime 2 uh, pirate theme. Okay, this one immediate, immediately like indicates like a higher threat level, I feel like. Um, the way I see it anyway. I mean, the first one has kind of that eerie it has that eerie beginning, um, and so it's, it's it's like the Prime One theme begins with like, uh oh, you better watch out, you know, something really bad is coming. But then once it gets to the main theme, then it's kind of like, oh, it's the Space Pirates. Um, Prime Two, or this one, it has kind of this like windy sort of feel to it um just rushing wind in the background and whatnot and so it kind of gives this it kind of gives this tone of like they just they they just came out of nowhere they just swooped in and you know here they are you gotta duke it out with them you can hear it here especially um just that wind windy sort of uh, tone, um, and especially just, and, you know, again, like, the Prime 1 theme, how it fit the Prime 1 Pirates in that they were kind of more ballistic, um, than they were intelligent beings or something, um, the Prime 2 Pirate theme, like, it fits real well with their, their moments where, because, like, the Prime 2 Pirates, despite not really having a, like, a designated leader, or, like, a specific leader that is mentioned or anything like that, um, the, Pi the Prime 2 Pirates seem pretty organized, um, and the, it's part of why the Prime 2 Pirates, at least thus far, have been my favorite portrayal of the Space Pirates, um, because, I mean, not just because they have the classic, like, Zimizian look to them, um, but also, uh, you know, these, they don't hunch over like the, like the Prime 1 pirates, they're not the same height as Samus, like in Prime 3, they, these are taller, like, these are giants, um, basically, and, like, the rush, the, the rushing wind sound in the background, like, how I mentioned how it, like, gives them the feeling that they are, they just swooped in and whatnot, which, and the Prime 2 Pirates do do that. It's, um, like, especially that one part in Aegon Wastes when you first, well, well, yeah, when you first encounter them and you have, like, the, the, the ominous music uh, that plays, um, when they first, when they first appear, uh, or, or when they're about to appear, and then they just beam down, and they, uh, and, and stuff, um, yeah, they just come out of nowhere, and, uh, and then, and then, like, uh, you have the pirate troopers on the skiff just appear, um, when, uh, Samus enters that one area right before she infiltrates the base, um, 
and I just really like that. I mean, it just shows that it just shows that the, the pirates they're more coordinated this time, like um, the, than the than the first one. Uh, they can just come in out of nowhere, and um, and then when they come down, they like are more in sync and fighting, and um, and also the the Prime Two pirates they another reason they were more threatening it felt like is because um they actually you know took the took the time to actually dodge samus's shots and stuff and whatnot like they they were the they were the first for the first time they were they were actually dodging shots and whatnot which which something i loved about prime remastered was that they incorporated that same uh behavior to the prime one pirates and I th um, so you know I had a, and and then the prime and then they also added that the prime one pirates their rate of fire was significantly higher um, at least from what I remembered it was it was almost like it was kind of like the pi the regular pirates in prime two versus the dark dark pirates like once they become dark pirates their rate of fire just really like you know skyrockets and it's part of why they become like really dangerous um, but yeah, that was something I really appreciated uh, in the, in the remaster of, uh, Metroid Prime, um, was how they just changed the AI of the space pirates themselves. Um, you know, one of those things that is like, yeah, this isn't just a remaster. <laughs> this is kind of a remake. Um, but, and you know, now the Prime 1 pirates also roll around, you know. Uh, to, do to dodge shots and uh, whatnot. So that was really cool. Um, and, uh, but yeah. Um, and then also it, like, like, again, how it just immediately, like, instead of that, that build-up eerie tone in the first one, uh, in the Prime 2 theme, it's like, boom. Like we we start in the action because the, the because the prime two pirates just come out of nowhere. They either beam down or they like, um, y you know, uh, you know, come down on a skiff or something. Um, but yeah, that's just that just shows how they're more coordinated and uh, you know they feel a lot more like a threat. Um, and also, I just like the uniformity. Uh, of it and uh, of of their you know of their outfits and stuff and um whatnot and their design overall like it kind of borrows from the Tyranids from like 40k I think just a little bit um which I think is pretty neat um like they kind of look a bit more xenomorphy but you know they don't hunch over like the Prime One pirates um. Yeah, I just really like the. Yeah, the overall and, and it doesn't feel like too, like oh my gosh, it's the space pirates. But at the same time, you're like, okay, the pirates are here, we gotta take them out, you know, deal with them, you know, uh, and then you know, then we'll be fine. But like, you know, you know, they're here, they're here for action. We gotta deal with them. Um, you know, whatever it is, though whatever it is that I'm looking for um but yeah so this has been actually my favorite version of the space pirate theme for a while now um for this reason um but uh moving on let's go to the prime 3 variant So just like the, just like the Prime 2 version, it's like, okay, boom, we're in the action already. Um, but then they, like, they switch over instead of just repeating it another, I mean, they kind of go back to the first variant where they just do the, and then, also, this one is like the first to really. I mean, it innovates off of the tune, the melody, a bit more. Like, this part right here is unique to the Prime 3 Pirate theme. Uh, 
Um. But yeah, that that tune is also. It's like it's under a minute, like, um, like it's it's very short actually compared to the others. Um, uh, compared to the first, the, the Prime 1 theme and the Prime 2 theme. And it strays a bit from it, and it feels a bit too... like, much. Like, and I think, and I think the fact that it's the overall melody itself before it loops back is also shorter than the other two. I think that also steals a bit from the melody overall like it's a it's a cool melody and when you play it and, and when it plays in the game you're like oh boy here are the pirates again you know we gotta we gotta deal with them however considering that the i don't know it feels a bit you know there, there's something about it that feels a bit much uh when dealing with like say this this the prime three space pirates like the prime three space pirates they are like they are very organized you do get that 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 sense um however you know the prime two pirates coming off as m more organized and coordinated um when they don't really seem to have a like a or, or they don't have a disclosed leader um you know i feel that's that seems more impressive and also they're, you know, they're kind of backed into a corner. Um, like they're on Aether. Um, they're dealing with the Federation. They're dealing with the Ing. They're dealing with, um, you know, just the... And then they're dealing with Samus and also Dark Samus. So, um, considering that they're still able to, they're still there you don't know who's in charge and they still seem very coordinated and everything that 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 feels more impressive than the prime three ones which the prime three ones you know they have dark samus and then as you learn more over time you learn that well they're not just led by dark samus they're also kind of possessed by dark samus in a sense because as like the elysian uh as the elysian uh, logs will mention it's like the phase on within the space pirate space pirates bodies were actually keeping them alive so it's that bond they have to dark samus that is actually keeping them alive which is why and you see that at the end of prime three when dark samus goes well then they go too um so and also like they you know I think, yeah, the fact that this, this theme, like, if it had this tone to it, and it still kept the same formula overall, like, actually doing the... You know, it just kept going, like, it did, it did that motif four times, um, just going up in pitch, um, like in the previous two, and it still had this tone to it, I think it would have been a lot better. Um, I yeah, I think it would have been a lot better. And and the Prime Three Pirates, they they are threatening, and there's like a lot of them, or there are a lot of them. Um, the thing is, the Prime Three Pirates also seem kind of animalistic, as well. Um, like just compared to the compared to the prime two pirates say and you know it, it's kind of like taking that weak that weakness i guess of the pirates from you know the first or yeah the first prime just being more animalistic you kind of i mean they do they are more you know they are intelligent like you know when you're fighting them basically but like at the same time you're just kind of like you know, boy, you're ugly. You know, it's just... You, and they do bring out the crab nature of the space pirates. 
um, a bit more in like their mouth and stuff. But like at the same time, it's like the, you know their their mandibles are constantly moving. And you're just kind of like, is there even a is there even a brain or anything going on in there? <laughs> it's just like, and, and also it's kind of like their heads are sort of skullish in a sense. Like they've kind of just gotten a good deal of their flesh removed. Which, in a sense, kind of makes them a bit more Tyranid-esque as well. Just something I like to joke about the Tyranids in 40k, since, like, the Zerg are... The Zerg from StarCraft are supposed to be, you know, like the Tyranids. But the Zerg are referred to as Flesh and Blade. And the Tyranids, meanwhile, are Bone and Blade. Because <laughs> when I just look at the Tyranids, I'm just like... They kind of look like they don't even have any flesh at all. Now, it was told me, well, they have exoskeletons, but so, you know, that make, that makes sense. But at the same time, it just looks like they're just raw bone and stuff. Like, not even carapaces or shells, like, you know, like lobsters or something. Um, but yeah, and then kind of, yeah, it's just overall it... Like the pirate theme, like okay, if if the, if the pirate theme being this drastic or this like scary sounding, um, you know, you know, if 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 you had a lot of moments where so many different pirates show up at the same time, um, you know, I think that would be, I think it would work better, but at the same time, with it being so short before it loops back around, I think it, it steals from the overall melody and stuff and and there is like you know there are a few parts where a bunch of pirates show up at the same time but it doesn't play this melody it plays this other melody which is the space pirates attack which first plays right before the Rundus fight and honestly that does work better I think um, than this theme does um, since it kind of see, it kind of feels more like an ambience or an environmental theme than it does like, oh, space pirates, you know, space pirate encounters, gotta deal with them, you know, oh, you know, everybody panic, you know, because like this one, yeah, this one compared to the Prime Two one has more of a, it's panic time, but then like the melody just kind of, it just feels like it's missing something, you know, like a. Other than what I was just mentioning, I mean, maybe everything I've mentioned before kind of feels that way, you know. And then, I think also, like, okay, the Prime 2 and Prime 1 variants have enough of a, like, threat level tone to them, but also not kind of over the top-ish or, like, panic level feeling to them, in a sense that, okay, pirates show up, you deal with them, the music goes away. And then it doesn't feel like it just falls flat, like, as a result. Um, because, like, it's not like, you know, it's telling, it's not like the game is telling you to panic, you know, because the pirates show up. This one, though, it, it feels more like, oh, the pirates are here, it's time to panic. And, but then, you know, it could just be a few of them and you just, you know, kill them. And they're gone. And, uh... You know, so then it, it's just kind of, it, it's kind of like it gives you sort of whiplash <laughs> a, a bit in that you're just like, oh, pirates, and then you deal with them, and they're, like, gone already, and you're like, oh. But, if, so, you know, um, anyway, I think that's, I mean, I still like it. I still like the theme. Um, it's just, you know... Honestly, I kind of feel like I would take the Prime 1 theme a bit over this one at times. Um, maybe even, you know, throw in both, like, depending on the situation, you know. Uh, but anyway, um, moving on. So, why did I turn that off? Um, <laughs> so this one I actually hadn't listened to until today. Um, just because I was like, you know what? I actually haven't heard the pirate theme from uh, Federation Force. Um, so, you know, we'll give it a listen. That first part kind of sounded like a bit like 
Super Metroid Mother Brain. Yeah, this one has way more of a military orchestra sort of feel to it. Like, I don't hear any electronic music in this at all. Like, it sounds more like a march. Like, you could play this in band. Yeah, so that one... I, I actually really enjoy that one. Um... Just because I'm like, this is just straight up like turning the Space Pirate theme into like a military march or something. Um, you know, so it's kind of just like, ba, 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 ba. anyway, um, <laughs> uh, just something like that. Um, imagine I get copyright struck for that. That would be funny. Um, I'm not even making money on YouTube, so, you know, it's, it's not really, well, is that really true anymore? I don't know. It's compl it's complicated, but that's that, that's not what we're here to talk about. But anyway, yeah, and and considering okay, so Federation Force, you're playing as the you know the Federation, so you know it has more of a you know you're not this bounty hunter dealing with the space pirates. No, 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 no. you are you're part of the military. So it having this tone to it is definitely more you know definitely more fitting. Which I wish I had thought of. I wish I had heard of this before this theme before, you know, you know, while I was editing my uh, Half-Life Opposing Force videos because in that you actually play as a Marine, um, uh, Adrian Shepard, and of course, so I threw in a bunch of Enigma Rising Tide tracks, which you know are more you know militaristic sounding, uh, like military marches and such. And I think I threw in some, like, I, I, I threw in some Metroid music from time to time for, like, the, like, uh, the Xenians show up and, you know, I threw in, like, Space Pirate music or whatever. I could have thrown in this. It would have been, it would have been perfect, you know, just fitting with, like, the Enigma Rising Tide music. That would have been great. Now I'm a little upset. <laughs> but, yeah, um... Doesn't have the right tone to it overall, I think, for Space Pirates. Uh, in this context, it's perfect, I think, because, again, this is a game where you're playing as the Galactic Federation Marines. So, you know, gives that, you know, this is war. You know, you're not a bounty hunter, you know, dealing with these aliens. No, you are a soldier fighting against enemy soldiers. So, and then, you know, I, I, do re I do like this theme. Um, I do plan, like, if I can, if I can, eventually, I do plan on actually playing Federation Force because I haven't actually played it yet. Um, and I know it's one of those controversial games and stuff, but, and there are, there are parts of it I have seen that I'm like, okay, really? You know, that's just dumb, you know? So, like, from an outsider's perspective. But then again, there were a lot of things of Other M about Other M that I thought about, or I was like, oh my gosh, this game is terrible or whatever, but it was actually thanks to Rob of uh, Rule of Two Review, who loves Other M, despite his flaws, he was, he was basically the guy who was like, who inspired me, okay, you know what, I'll take your word for it, I'll actually give it a shot, and I'll play it, and I loved it, I was, you know, I, there are, there are definitely a lot of parts where I'm just kind of like, Oh my gosh, and, and like the fact that, you know, they had the developers for, you know, Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball. Ugh. <laughs> it just, it just portrays the Amazon and stuff. It's like, huge. It shows, but, and just kind of the melodrama and stuff, you know. But overall, like, the gameplay itself is a lot of fun. Um, and whatnot. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, but, yeah, but, yeah, for the context of this game, yeah, that, this, this, the tone of just having a militaristic march, um, 
I actually really like. Uh, I, I, I like it. Um, it's, it's different, but then again, Federation Force as a concept is also different, which... Okay, another one more side note, and then we'll move on. But honestly, I was not upset about the concept of a Metroid game where you play as the Marines. Um, because before I had even heard of it, um, I think it may have already come out. I don't know, but or it was announced. Uh, I think it was announced. Uh, it may have been announced already, but um, at the time, before I had even thought of it, I was like playing Halo multiplayer for the first time, like doing firefights and just multiplayer matches and such. And I was thinking to myself, you know, it'd be cool if you could play as the Marines in a Metroid game. Well, it's one of those, I guess, uh, you know, be careful what you wish for kind of situations, because even though we, I did get that, um, just, it, it came out as like this chibi, just like, what the what the hell is this you know just <laughs> kind of a thing um and also i think part of why part of its horrible reception other than just the stupid art art decision um was people were still licking their wounds from other m um which you know again i actually like other m uh i love it even uh and fun fact it's actually the only metro game that has consistently made me cry at the end. I know. Uh, something about that music, man, and that the cutscene at the end is just. Oh. Anyway. And finally, last but not least, let's just listen to the Prime Four. Um. The the Prime Four, uh, pirate theme. Now, you know it's. You know, we're still going to have the sound effects and stuff from the video. Um, but, you know, we can still make out the pirate melody. Okay. More innovating on the theme. It's like it's, it's going... It's going different routes and stuff. Like, it's kind of going different ways and whatnot that you're not really used to. And now we hear the the one you're you're used to. So um yeah real quick before I continue a, a nice little detail I wanted to point out was you can see how just right here in the distance one of the space pirate destroyers is dropping is releasing those drop pods um one of the drop pods you see you know crash down here yeah right there which I hadn't noticed until like last night or something so I was like oh that's that's neat I didn't notice that before uh, just the fact that you can see a space pirate just drop, uh, dropping the drop pods. So, like, right off the bat, like, you know, and again, this is from a trailer, so, like, you know, maybe this isn't actually what, like, the, the pirate theme is going to sound like um, in the game. But it's just, you know, right off the bat, it's like, uh, presumably a blast from one of the, one of the destroyers just totally like vaporizes that um that turret at least i'm assuming it's a turret it looks like one anyway um so it's like okay so we're kind of we're bringing back like the prime two and prime three like like shock factor just like from the get-go it's like oh boy they're here oh lord they coming <laughs> you know uh just just sense to him sense to it um, but also kind of this, like, um, like kind of, it, 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 the, the, the melody just keeps fluctuating here. Like, it's not really, sh it doesn't, like, it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite sound like the Space Pirate theme that we're accustomed to. Mm -hmm. 
And like, and at times, kind of like, like that part right there, instead of going up in pitch, it actually goes down. And, but like, and although it's not the same pirate theme that we're accustomed to just yet, like, because it's innovating off of the original melody, um, it's, it, it still bears enough similarity to where you hear it and you're like, oh, this is the pirate theme. Um, so, you know, that's something I really like about it. Also, like the E organ, um, feel to it, uh, or, uh, or tone. Um, um, and it does kind of have this, it does kind of have sort of an airy, airy sort of feel to it, sort of like the Prime 2 pirate theme. Maybe that's just the... Maybe that's just the environment, uh, as well coming in. No, no, yeah. Also has a... You can also hear a bit of a choir, which... The pirate themes actually don't really have choirs, typically, um, in them for whatever reason. But you can hear just kind of this... You know, like this low kind of Gregorian-esque chant as well. Um, which I think is really cool. Like, it adds to... And, and that that paired with, like, the E organ. It's like the... Uh, like, the organ always has this sort of, like... You know, it, it's such a great and classical instrument for, like, portraying villainy. Now, why that is, I'm not sure, but it's like, you know, give something that goth, gothic sort of, like, nature or feel to it. Or, you know, maybe the fact that the organ, you associate it with a church. What do churches have? Graveyards. So it's like kind of more this mortality um, kind of feel to it. I mean, that's just something I've thought about when I'm like, why is it that the organ has kind of, is, is often used for, like, villainy or something? Um... And it just works. Um, and again, like the organ, it it it's like it's sort of like this living instrument in, in a sense, which is like why it's called that, I believe. And um, like with all the air, uh, all of that air just going through and everything like that. And you know, again, the comparison to the Prime Two Pirates. Um, kind of has that, like, you know, they're swooping down or swooping in and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that, but then the fact that it's an E organ instead of a, like an actual organ or something, you know, it gives that alien feel to it as well with the, with the low choir, um, low bass choir as well. Um, I think that just, that's really cool. Um. But, like, yeah. Oh, I love that choir. I love that choir. Just, it adds so much to it with, with the organ. Um, the yeah, yeah, organ synth, you know, whatever you want to call it. But, Something else I want to point out, and also the Prime 2, this may be part of why I like the Prime 2 theme a lot as well, which is that this one, it has a slightly different tone to it, uh, or uh, it, it's, it's a subtle, it's a subtly different tone to it, um, compared to the other, the other, uh, themes, um, which is that... Like the Prime One, Two, Three, Federation Force, um, they give this tone of, um, like, oh, we're in count, uh, not so much Federation Force, it, like, again, it feels more like a march than it does, like, an actual encounter or something, but Primes One through Three give this tone of, like, like, you're, you're having an encounter, like, oh, it's the space pirates, or the space pirates are coming, 
or, you know, this or that, and, and then, you know, once you deal with him, then the music goes away. Um, and the, and the music kind of gives that tone to it as well, um, particularly the Prime 3 one, which I think is part of why I, you know, the Prime 3 one is not really, <laughs> it's not my favorite. Again, I like it, but it's, like, probably the weakest, maybe, uh, of, of them all, um, in my opinion. But especially since it, it the actual melody itself is under a minute before it loops back around, um, it just gives that, like, oh, well, you know, you, you, you encounter them, then they go away, you know. Um... Whereas the Prime 2 one and even and the Prime 1 one have more of an ambient kind of feel to it, um, which I think why it works better. And But this one in particular, I think, just takes that concept of it being more ambient and environmental, and it just totally embraces it uh, over just, it's now just an encounter. No, no, it's like, this isn't just an encounter, no, no, no. The space parts are everywhere. Like, what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing from this this version of the space pirate theme, is no, no, no. You're not just dealing with a squad of pirates, okay? No, no, no. You're dealing with like this is a this is this is a this is a big like a huge scale pirate invasion, and which what we see in the trailer that is exactly what is happening. You have like like space pirates destroyers. You have. Uh, drop pods coming down. You have pirates everywhere. So you're like, okay, this situation isn't just you run into a squad of pirates and you deal with them. No, no, no. This is you have an entire like pirate legion. Like, you know. So the fact that this melody it has that tone difference of uh, you know, this isn't just battle music for fighting space pirates. This is space pirate ambience. This is space pirate environmental music. And that and and with with the more innovative uh, tone or, or in, innovation they did with the music uh, making it like uh, like uh you know, it, it, it's it's like the it's like the music is kind of has a sort of sickly kind of feel to it. Like it's not sure what it wants to be, but it is a space pirate <laughs> music for a bit. It, it gives that kind of like uncomfortable, like eerie sort of situation. Um, and again, like you're like okay, like you're not necessarily fighting a pirate right in front of you at the moment, but you will be. <laughs> Because they're everywhere around here, so, so that's a that's um, there's something I really like about this one, and, and it may be my new favorite pirate theme because this isn't just an encounter theme. No, no, no. This is, you know, I know I'm repeating myself, but you're just dealing like you're deal you're not dealing with a squad. You are dealing with an invasion. Like that is what I'm like, getting from this, and like. Like, Prime 3, you know, you were dealing with an invasion on Norian, but the pirate theme itself was on, only showed up, like, one or two times during the, during the Battle of Norian. I think it actually only shows up once. Um, which is, which is interesting. Um, but you didn't have this ongoing, just, like... Oh boy, we are dealing with we are dealing with pirates. They are back, and they are like, you know, causing more and more havoc. Um, but um, like this, this, you know, and, and also the 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 theme music just kept shifting in in Prime Three and the Battle of Norian as well. So it's it's kind of like, you know, you had, you know, the GF the GF uh, space battle theme. Then you had the tense battle theme. Um, then you had the crisis theme um, and stuff, and and like uh, you know, it's like this one does in, induce or invoke a, a sense of panic, like the other ones do. 
Um, but it's more like, it's more like, oh no, they're right here in front of me. No, it's more a panic like, this is a really bad situation that I just got myself into because I'm dealing with an invasion, not a squad, <laughs> you know, like, like, uh, like I said before. Um, but anyway, that's basically what I wanted to talk about. I thought that was a pretty, just pretty cool just listening to it again. Also, I just noticed something I hadn't noticed before, which was you see on the radar, which, you know, you can briefly see like different like allies of Samus's like, you know, shooting, shooting at the pirates, which is like where I believe where this bolt is coming from, which also, what is that? I wonder. Oh, is that like a warning meter? It kind of has like an exclamation mark and then like sort of like sensor arrays or or waves coming off on the sides. But anyway, something on the radar I just noticed was like, you know, you have the red, the red in front of you, which I wonder if this red, the difference between this red and this red is because you're locked onto this one, it's an X. Um, whereas... I think there are actually two of these, like two bogeys uh, right here. And then you have these two green circles right here, which I can only imagine are allies, which I'm not sure if Prime 3 even included that. I don't, I'm not sure if in the radar it even included allies or friendlies. Um, I'll have to check that again, but I'm not sure it actually took that into account. Um, but yeah, that's a sw that's a really cool detail. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I hope to see y'all next time for, well, maybe maybe Prime Three, uh, another Prime Three stream, or maybe just a Half Life Two premiere or something like that. Yeah, still 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 trying to chug through that as well. But anyway, ciao.